Good morning, everybody. Today we are here with uh, my brother. My brother's there, and we're here uh, waiting for the fire department. We got a scenario set up for them: a car under the trailer. We're gonna do a simulated uh, simulated underride situation. Uh, so they're gonna get here and uh, simulate that there's someone like stuck in the car. We got the driver door pinned right up against the duel, so we're gonna let them handle that situation, and then we're gonna bring the rotator into the picture and uh, kind of show them what we can do with that and how uh, we can aid them in certain situations uh, based on what we got. So we're gonna go ahead and get the rotator staged over here, and then uh, it is currently 8:35 uh, January, not January, February 22nd. Um, so they're gonna be here around 9:9:30. So we're gonna go ahead and get the rotator over here, get it staged, and then uh, we'll see them in a second. guys so here we have a simulated uh, underride scenario that we're gonna practice with the fire department as you can see this thing is plowed under here we lifted the whole trailer up and uh, got it smashed in there so just give you guys an idea of what imagine a person in there so we're gonna do a simulated scenario with them they're gonna attempt to do what they can with it and then uh, we're more than likely gonna use the rotator here to lift this off and then uh, pull the car out at the same time so hope you guys enjoy that and we'll uh, let's get to it hello everyone all right we're gonna kind of simulate here that we uh, just got on scene with the uh, DOT underride situation we got the uh, I got this car that's just plowed right into the bottom of this uh, plowed right in the bottom of this trailer. So we're gonna work with the fire department to get the uh, car out. Uh, we'll go from there. All right, let's get to work. So go ahead and pull this pin for me, Jared. Go ahead and pull this pin for me, just a little bit. You there have you a change of direction that we'll use? Yeah, let me get you set up on that. Yeah. I can get that set up while you guys Okay, what do you up. need on my end? Just, uh, just the pulley? Yeah, I have the swing, Snatch so okay. just the pulley. Okay. Kind of There's that, and I'll get you a shot. Sweet. Well, I guess you can just go this through the swing, right? Yeah, you're, if you're cool with that, then yeah, I'm good with it. Alright, let's do it. Keep it easy. Yeah. Huh? Yeah. All right. So, since this is an empty trailer, we're just gonna use these chains. Yeah. Okay. Um, just take it to the other side of the trailer. So this is the cable we'll use for the uh, for the redirect, and it's ready to pull. If I, I can pull it or whatever, but um, okay. So th this green cable is the one we're going to use for a redirect. So just so everyone's on the same page. So um, I mean, it's ready to pull if we want to set it up. Yeah. We can. Just, um, nothing. So this, this is directly out of the winch. We're gonna go there, right? And then we'll go to the uh, snatch block there, and then to your rigging here. Yeah. 
So I probably just pull it about that speed so we don't unwind it, but yeah, you're good. Appreciate it. All right, Jared. Huh? Is it? Yeah. All right, so. In a second, I'm gonna pay some cable out. No, you can just leave them there. I'm going to swing the boom around. Can you kick that pin in, Jared? Yeah. There you go. Yeah, let's get the rigging set up here. Uh, so just like replicate what I'm doing, dude. Yeah, so get your chain and just replicate what I'm gonna do. So you're gonna go this slot right here. Okay. Go with this hook. Go up and over and just hook it like that. then come out and just make a little loop just like that huh what do you mean yeah and then we're gonna hook our hooks into it You guys are good. I got you. No. Yeah. Mohica had one, but they sold it. Let's go over here, dude. Yeah. All right, go ahead and take that blue. And just hook it right in. You're gonna want hook tips this way, though. Hook tips this way. Pull it, it's free. Yeah. So, hook tip like this, you're gonna want the hook tip away. That's fine, you should have enough there.
greens all set up? Yes, sir. Sorry, so oh, okay. So when we're when I'm gonna work with this truck, anytime I say like blue, white, green, that's referring to the cable. Yeah, I'm gonna take a picture too. <laughs> Okay. Get my pictures. <laughs> All right, do we have clearance? All right, green's coming. The cable doesn't even look tight. <laughs> So uh, this, let's see how much we're lifting. Actually, I can tell you, I can tell you how much you were lifting. Uh, Seven thousand pounds is what I have right now. Full extension, zero degrees, sixteen thousand. So I mean, I've had fifty-two thousand off the side. Are like, you at full extension right now? No, I can go further. We can push it out a little bit. <laughs> Uh, 38 feet. I mean, yeah, you, you can push it out. <laughs> I'll trade you pinks right now. Huh? <laughs> we'll give you that thing. Yeah. <laughs> we'll throw a quick wash and armor. Get the camera roll on it. I've never seen that done. You have to call the chief when we lost him out of truck. <laughs> like I said, this, that, that third winch I feel like could be pretty useful in, saw in this scenario. Um, we also have, we can run it up to the boom and do other things like that. Um, I just like to say, you, you can plan for that if you guys come in because the part's perfect. Yeah. So when you get there, we're on the same sheet. Yeah, yeah. That's, um, what was the other thing I was going to say? Oh, I guess another scenario that we ran with uh, Torrance Fire up, at, up in Torrance was uh, they had a car up against a K rail, driver door down and roof up against the K rail. And so, in order, I guess, for the, they, they wanted a situation where the rotator would stabilize the vehicle so they could work on it without it being unstable. Um, and so by doing that, they basically boomed out like this and captured uh, the side that was up against the K rail. And then they ran another line down to their outrigger, similar to something like this, and pulled down on it. So you're pulling that car from two different directions and just, I mean, they were sitting there shaking it and it was stable. Yeah. We used the stinger on a flatbed. Thing, yeah, like, yeah, yeah. We've done that a few times here. Backed up to it. Mm -hmm. They just pulled the whole thing mm -hmm. to the flatbed. That worked really well. Yeah. So, I don't know. it's pretty, pretty versatile piece. You just like, like working best off the side like that, or what's your your preferred? Um, yeah, the off the sides. I'm pretty comfortable working off the side. Yeah. Does it and change as far as your thin line? So yeah. So, um, right here, I'm I'm working with a tip chart. So what that tip chart is is that I'll I'll start floating that far side before anything breaks on the boom. If I'm working off the rear, I have a structural chart. So that chart is off the structure of the boom. So I'll break something before I lift the front end. Yeah. Um, it is a little bit limited off the side, but I mean, it's, I haven't, I haven't done anything off the side that I haven't like been able to handle. Um, like I said, I've had 52,000 off the side. Um, and that's like, like trail like if i were to i was lifting off a trailer so i was spaced enough far away so it wasn't like right there um yeah
What's it rated at? Sorry, I forget already. You said so. This, it's a 50 ton rotator, is what it's called. So off the rear, right off the back, I can lift 100,000 pounds. Okay. That's not realistic because you're not gonna lift something right there. Right. Um, but mm. the best way to put it is zero degrees flat, full extension. So I probably have four or five more feet out of it. I can lift 16,000 zero degrees, and it only gets better as you boom up. Right. Um, we also have that bar up there, that white bar to the right of the boom, that's a spreader beam. So um, I would be able to like set up above the trailer and if I needed to lift just the, from the axles I could. Um, and that, that's just to keep the straps, you, you wouldn't crush. You wouldn't, right. crush the, you wouldn't crush the trailer. Right, and same with like if I had to lift, um, I'm, I'm waiting for it to happen up here on the washes climbing up out of the grade semi going way down into there and you'd have to lift it out of there out of the bridge that'd be perfect or something like that working off the side and just lifting it out of a ravine or something like that yeah, yeah. We had one into the rocks up there. did you yeah we had a heavy record come out we ended up using the outrigger to for our grip hoist attachment it was these guys it was doll darl and me and it, was it that that double fatal yeah uh, that you guys guy, like worked a long hard. time yeah. to get him out hours. yeah and then he ended up dying? The guy in the or, superbed died. Yeah. yeah. The driver lived. Yeah. Well, he was yeah, I, yeah. Really uh, Doll and my dad were out on that one. Yeah. He was well, I was still in high school on that That was your street. So I guess just get to play around all the time. <laughs> it's the first time I'd see guys like working for so long. The guys just kind of stop. Who else are they called? The kid? But start alarming for I was rotating yeah I was just slowly rotating that way um, yeah just so everyone's aware that stuff's moving around um, you guys can take a look at this this is, uh, this is the load computer so it just basically is electronic version of the charts so this is the tip chart I was talking about off the side this would be the rear chart extension um, but this is just like a quick visual reference like right now I'm only 20% capacity I have 7,000 pounds at this extension, this boom, I could pick 37,000. And that's according to the chart. I've pushed it. I mean, it, it'll, it'll do it. Um, I'm sure there's safety issues in the Yeah. Um, Does that correlate with this angle? So like the angle you're at right mm -hmm. now, that 20% is this weight right here? Yeah. Oh, wow. Yeah, yeah. So that's a quick reference. You just look at it and you're like, oh, sweet. What's your maintenance like on this thing? Every so many hours you got to do it for uh, like like um, we grease it every two weeks and We haven't even done an oil change on it because it only has 8,000 miles. That's it. How much armor are you putting on these tires? That's oh, what check this out though. Check this. Those motherfuckers are shiny. <laughs> what is that? It's yeah. not armor all. It's this new stuff called Duracoating. You guys should probably look at it. It's you have to like strip the tire down of to bare rubber and then you put this coating on it It's like dry to the touch. So yes, I've had yes. I've had this on for three months And I just washed it last week and like this is what it looks like <laughs> after washing it yeah, Tahoe bike? yeah, right <laughs> It's sweet. Oh my God. It's like it's freaking sweet. I mean uh, For the semi kit it was hundred bucks Oh and then with Dura coating, and like it left me with half a bottle left, so you I did my I did my car. Put some off riding tires. Yes, I wash this thing like every freaking day. Yeah. Ceramic coated or what? Yeah, this is ceramic coated. Yeah. We're about to do that first. And then get some uh, the Renegade um, ceramic spray. That stuff works pretty good. Let's get pop here. Yeah. Those are like additional cables so I can use them as like a like they're meant for the spreader beam. It's kind of unrealistic because I have all these straps that I can use, but they're just storage from. Gotcha. Um, but yeah. How many, uh, how many feet of cable are on? Two fifty. On each one. Yeah, so two fifty, two fifty. Actually, that has three hundred. But I mean, we have slings galore. You guys are kind of used to that stuff. So. Yeah, it's just the whole. Yeah, those are all the towing attachments. This thing doesn't really tow much, but you guys will like this cabinet, I think. It's like my Milwaukee cabinet. Yeah. Right. right. Exactly. Sean, don't be jacking off again. 
That's cool. This thing's actually sweet for blowing up uh, catch bags. We have a set of catch bags in, in our recovery trailer, so if, instead of slamming stuff down, we could either catch it with this truck or land it on this catch bag, and it slowly lets it down. It's kind of cool. What's that? The white pieces? Yeah. So those are the end card. Oh, the extendable ladder. Oh, it's it. Yeah. <laughs> That's why I figured you could be used to that. No, I'm like, no. I thought these are sensors or something. Oh, no, 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 yeah, oh, so it's like, extendable okay. ladder. Oh, and then those white pieces are the end caps for the spreader beam. Yeah. Sweet, right? This is what I was talking about here about the pull anchor point. So oh, we're yeah. able to do yeah, stuff like that off of that. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> yeah. I think so. <laughs> How much does it weigh? 64,000. Which is actually light because California is a bitch and they right. regulate our weights and everything. Right. Uh, that's why this has uh, provisions for a fifth, uh, two more winches. So you can add two more winches onto this. And have five winches and they end up out of that sheave right there. Okay. So, I mean, it's there, but it adds another 5,000 pounds. So. Is that the only light you have? That light bar right there? Um, off the side, yeah, and that thing's bright as day, and then all the other lights. I can turn those and oh, yeah. light bars and whatnot. That one's actually kind of cool because oh, cool. you see my little GoPro mount on there? That's my camera oh, yeah. angle, too. Yeah, that's, cool. <laughs> that's pretty cool. That's a camera. Thank you, Bob. Here, let's see. Yeah, that's cool. Um, panel. Yeah, there's all the lights in there. Nice. Yeah. She's nice. She's showing the disco party under here. Oh yeah, I got like no, disco you, lights hidden under here. Yeah, let's go. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Brand new guys get this right out the gate. There's <laughs> <laughs> so only three of us here that get to run it at the moment. Yeah, yeah. me, my dad, and Darl. So. You gotta go special school to get some training? Or um, I mean, they don't really, they don't require you to go to school, but uh, we all did, and I went up to a bunch of companies up in LA and just kind of, kind of, rode along with them for a few hours and figured it out and I go sorry Mark I did uh, cross training with LA County Fire at um, Duval with their rotator so they had a rotator school up there so I actually got to run those trucks those are pretty cool that was really cool about, what about rec masters in Vegas is it worth going to I haven't done it but it's on my bucket list I want said we should go too yeah is it like a rolling is it like a train we can all go together and keep an eye on each other. Yeah. Right. <laughs> oh my goodness. Um, yeah, that's about it though. Like I said, we can pretty much figure out everything. We got. Will you will you go off of this and go down sometimes? So yeah, so I was going to just actually point that so we can go off of this right here. Okay. Um, so that's a good pull point. And then, I mean, we can run that directly outside. We can run it out. Um, that's good for like low poles and have it low clearance stuff. Uh, you have everything. These are interesting. Look at these big old things. Yeah, that's awesome. <laughs> Just shackle to them then? Yep. Those are good for grabbing cement mixer frame rails. Okay. So you can just grab the frame rail, it'll hook right into them and you can lift them. So pulleys. Chain carousel, that's kind of cool. These are nice pulleys too. Yeah, they're lightweight. They're the lightweight version. So the one that I used, just so you know, didn't have a uh, pin on it. Oh, it didn't have a cotter pin. Okay, cool. Thanks. I'll replace it. Um, yeah, I mean, it's there. <laughs> Toolbox. Yeah. All good. You don't have any of those. Uh... Oh shit, the chain. Finders that are. I don't. Okay. I want to get so some. You're saying you yeah. Want to get them. Okay. They're cool. pretty cool. Yeah. That's awesome. That chain carousel makes getting chains out real fast. You can just spin it, and I have it labeled so if there's a little yeah, pull that, and you can just spin it around. And I have it labeled so I can just tell guys, you know, grab this, and they can kind of find it if they grab need to. The yeah. yeah. Um, for the most part, it's pretty set up. Uh, you can move things around here and there. Like yeah. I, I wanted my shackles in this box. Wanted toolboxes here.
Oh, that's still in the air. <laughs> yeah. Ah, so. Are you tanks? Yeah. Everything's fine. I don't know if that door's open, but it's right above the outrigger. Okay. Thank you. Fishing? Pull that hook around here. Show them these uh, compartments. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Fingers quick. This is uh, Miller. Miller Industries. Miller? Miller Industries, yeah. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
Yeah, it's... Yeah, yeah, they're nice. Uh, percent. They teach a lot of tow truck stuff. They make, they have their own brand. They're making them out of there. Uh, what color trucks do you know? This is actually something that's pretty cool about the remote is that most of the remotes that come with the trucks they're either like off on style buttons this is like proportional so yeah so every you know i can barely move it or i can just go 100 you know? percent yeah that's pretty nice It'd be real technical that's it so then these yellow the yellow little side plates with the um grade eight or on the springs? Yeah. Um, so if I if I didn't have it in this configuration and I was oh, single lined, I can just hook them back gotcha. to that. Yeah. Okay. Um, um, just keep the tension or something? Yeah, just so they're somewhere. Um, I moved them down to here because they're pretty easy to hook off and I have them with these uh, snatch blocks on here. So um, mostly everything we're lifting is going to exceed the 16,000 pounds of working load limit on the cable. So I just keep the snatch blocks there at all times unless I need to pull a lot out. A big toy. Oh, those aren't coming in yet. Yeah, no. Cool. Thanks, sir. That's it. Not yet. Okay, now that's it. <laughs> Thank you so much, yeah, thanks yeah. for coming and play. That was fun. Do you come up with any little one-off scenario you want to try to set up? Feel free to. Yeah. You got my number, so. Hey, thanks for coming. Thank you. Thank you. All right, guys. Well, hopefully you enjoyed the video. As always, like, comment, subscribe. Thank you for watching. Hopefully that kind of scenario was pretty cool for you guys. I thought they liked it, and I, uh, hopefully you guys did too. So with that being said, see you on the next one. Thanks for watching, guys.